guys how's it going welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been like forever since i made my last video so i'm happy to say that i'm back at least for the time being i'm actually on the beautiful campus of stanford university next to the memorial hall so why am i here well i'm here to finish my last class for my uh, masters of computer science degree and i'm doing a poster presentation for this uh, deep learning for computer vision class I know that some of you have been thinking about um, pursuing graduate degrees or part-time studies or, and maybe are considering Stanford University. So today I'm just going to like talk about, okay, why did I choose Stanford University and what are some of the benefits you could get from uh, enrolling in the Masters of Science and Computer Science. Of course, there's like many reasons that might be you wanted to fill in some knowledge gaps in computer science, whether it's like in artificial intelligence, in systems, uh, security, maybe you're interested in blockchain technology, um, networks. These are all topics that you could really delve deep into here at Stanford, especially when you're working with all these uh, prominent labs and faculty members who are very experienced and uh, like renowned in the field globally. I was looking to fill some of my knowledge gaps uh, from undergrad. Uh, also, I was particularly interested in artificial intelligence. So this Stanford master's program actually provides me an ability to uh, specialize in a specific field of computer science, such as AI. The third point would be being able to make the valuable connections and also have access to research opportunities with prominent labs like Stanford AI Lab, uh, working with Stanford NLP. Uh, so, you know, you have all these uh, experts in deep learning like Andrew Ang or in computer vision like Fei Fei or uh, in NLP like Chris Manning and, you know, many individuals that are really well known in that field and you'll be able to take classes that are, that are sometimes directly taught by them. Now, the last point which I think is very valuable for doing Stanford's Master's in Computer Science is the flexibility. And this is what personally drove me to do the program because I had a full-time job and I wanted to do some studies outside of that. Stanford offers this flexibility of enrolling in part-time or even transferring from part-time to full-time or vice versa if you wanted to. And you could take many gaps. I think officially, you, as a part-time student, you are able to take four quarters of gaps. So the flexibility, the access to connections, and also just filling in your knowledge gaps or your interest in a subfield, these are all valid reasons for why you should pursue the Masters of Science and Computer Science here at Stanford University. A brief overview of the program, um, there are actually 10 different specializations you can choose within the Masters in CS. So um, the popular ones include artificial intelligence, computer network and security, um, systems, there's also software theory, theoretical CS, computational bio. Now, in order to graduate, you need to fulfill 45 units of studies. These are usually consist of a breadth requirement, um, that is uh, different courses in subfields in CS, and also the depth requirement, which is what defines your specialization. Um, there are also electives, which allows you to enroll in classes like seminars and count them for credits or you could engage in research as a research assistant and also use that for class credit. Of course, besides requirements, you could also choose to become a course assistant or a research assistant, in which case they will actually give you a stipend. I think um, last year was around $12,000 for the quarter. Um, also, you will be waived around um, for 10 units of coursework. Um, you're not able to take more than that, but you know, that gives you some offset on the tuition that you'll have to pay. And I think this is a very great opportunity to take advantage of the prominent research labs here. So because you could directly work with these, um, with cutting edge researchers here on campus and also get a stipend to cover your tuition or living expenses. So the interesting part, which uh, all of you have been waiting for, which is, you know, what does it take to apply to Stanford University's Master's in CS? So you definitely need to provide your transcript um, and you need to supply um, letters of recommendations. When I applied, uh, they allowed you to attach between three to six letters of recommendations. So I chose two to be from uh, my past internship managers and also two from um, academia. 
So I thought that was a good balance. And that is actually a very important part of the application process. Uh, of course, you also need to uh, provide a GPA score. So, you know, a good range for math would be, you know, close to the full score of uh, 170, um, given that it is a technical program. Verbal, generally, um, anywhere 160 and above would be a good score. For analytical writing, that could be 4.0 or above. And of course, it's uh, the omission is based on many factors. Um, you could also list your um, previous research or publications or honors and awards. Um, those will all help you boost uh, your chances of, uh, of omission. If you want extra tips on how to apply, I will be doing a future video, so stay tuned. If you want extra tips on how to apply to maximize your chances of admission, I will make that in a future video, so stay tuned. Alright, I'm getting hungry, so I'll be going to the dining hall. And if you haven't seen my previous video on the Stanford Dining Hall, check it out right here. So I hope that was a useful overview of why Stanford would be a good fit for you and some overview of the program and the application details. All right, guys, I just arrived at the poster presentation session. And today I will be presenting the aerial detection of rural housing structures in Africa. Thanks for watching my video. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And then see you next time.